So hi, I'm Asaf Lev, part of um, the Oracle UK Innovation Team. Um, and like you said, I'm part of the uh, Wolby project. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, go ahead, James. Yep, my name is James Hargreaves. I'm uh, also part of the Innovation UK team. Uh, I am currently a graduate, so I'm six months into Oracle. I graduated in uh, June last year, last summer. Okay, so same again. My name is Jaron. I'm a solution engineer in the innovation team and I've uh, been here six months and getting involved with the World B project as well. So can you very quickly like uh, tell us like what the B project is? Like, um, I mean, what's the idea behind uh, the... Yeah. yeah, so we connected with, um, with, a, with the CIC co uh, community interest company uh, called the World B project, which wants to eventually save the world or save the uh, bees in the world. Um, and with this article we connected with them. Um, and we have a couple of programs. The main program with, that we're about to discuss today is the uh, World Bee Project Hive Network. Or in other words, how do we connect as many beehives around the world um, into our hive network and show good, bad pollination, um, as well as give, give a real-time uh, notifications to the beekeepers as well as other um, authorities um, around around the area. Um, the other project that uh, it's worth mentioning is the BeeMark um, program, where over there the uh, key bit in terms of technology is blockchain. So we're highly involved in that as well. But I guess today we're going to concentrate mostly about the hive network. Okay. So since I have you on, the, do you have the the, the microphone? Um, <clears throat> can you explain a little bit, like technology-wise, like what uh, are the different components of the, the given overview of the project in terms of technology that you're using and how you monitoring the beehives? Yeah, so we connected with a couple of technology partners that are uh, niche for sensors for beehives, um, and we're connecting them to our cloud, and eventually that data will be. Um, shared among uh, research institutes. Um, we have already a partnership with a couple of universities, um, so each and every hive that would be part of the World Bee project will share that uh, data for research, and all the insights will be contributed back to the hive network, and people can gain from that, and hopefully we'll get new insights in order to understand what's going on with, all, with the bees. Um, so you in terms of uh, technology or the actual sensors, so um, the, the most common one that everyone can think of is temperature and humidity. Uh, but what's even more um, interesting is um, the, the microphone side of things. So sound acoustics or listening to the bees can bring a lot of really cool insights, uh, which we demonstrate on our uh, platform. You'll see that in, a, I guess, in a couple of minutes. Um, we also have um, weight scale, so differences in weight the beehive can um, can introduce or can uh, give us alerts that something is wrong with the, with, the, with the beehive. And a really cool, and uh, we just introduced that uh, recently with one of our uh, partners, um, there's a bee counter. So we can count how many bees are going outside the beehive and versus how, how many of them are coming back. So for instance, if none of not a lot of them are coming back, or none of them on uh, unfortunate uh, kind of cases. It means that someone is spraying the fields or something. So we can alert the beekeeper and it can go and shut the, the doors of the other beehives and, and understand where uh, that was being sprayed or even move the beehive to different locations. So what kind of technologies or are you using or are you using Raspberry Pis and how what kind of sensors? Yeah, so in addition to those technology partners, we created our own version of, uh -huh. um, or it's in, the, in progress to be more honest. So um, we are creating a Raspberry Pi flavor of uh, monitoring a beehive. Um, all of those kits uh, will be connected to our cloud through um, IoT, IoT Cloud Service. Uh, on top of that, we have real-time pattern matching, so we're using Stream Analytics bit, bit that we can demonstrate shortly. Um, all the real-time alert is going through um, uh, to our mobile app that Jaron over here uh, developed. And all of the management of the beehive, as well as some of the alerting, as well as management of the beehive, and a really cool uh, kind of bee suit chatbot was uh, was done over here by okay. by James that uh, 
I guess you're gonna see uh, a quick demo of that uh, shortly as well. Let's go to the demos then. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Who wants to go first? Well, okay. we plugged in to the So mobile. this was made with Oracle's Visual Builder Cloud Service, or VBCS. So it's a rapid development tool used to make hybrid apps and web apps. So if we can see here, so this is, you, you will log in to the app here, and then once we go through, we'll be able to monitor our hive. So in here, we've got a hive in Reading and one in Birmingham. So if we click through onto the hive, we can then go into and see a load of metrics about the hive. So we can see the activity level, the base, the frequency, stability, treble, and so forth. And then things to do with temperature readings as well, in addition to the battery life and signal strength. Um, the purpose behind here was to have it to be agnostic. So if you was to use a specific vendor of one of these IoT devices, you could only be able to see the analytics for that vendor. But the idea is, the idea here is, we can connect in our all of our different types of IoT devices, pipe that to the cloud, and then we can run analytics on everything as a whole. Uh, and we can use that to preemptively tell beekeepers, hey, your your beehive is showing trends that other beehives have shown when swarms are about to occur. So you might want to go and look at your hive. Um, eventually, in the end, it'd be cool if we had a little a little microphone here, so we could the beekeeper could. Uh, say things like, how's my beehive in Reading doing? Or how's my beehive 10 miles down the road doing? So he didn't have to be there. And also we could send prompts to the beekeeper and notifications letting them know that your beehive suddenly weighs zero. Perhaps it's fell over or maybe someone's even stolen it. So we, we can help the beekeepers, beekeepers know that. But um, for it, we've integrated one of uh, Oracle's digital assistants as well. So here's the one we've made today for Open World. So if we say hi to our chatbot here, Okay, so it says hello to you. Um, we can ask it what it can do for today. So let's find out what it can do. So today we can put a B mark, as our stuff mentions. We can uh, you can B mark your hive and upload an image to do that. Uh, we can query our beehive data so we can see what's going on at our hives. So I believe we've got two in TVP in our Reading office and one in Birmingham. Uh, and we can also ask generic questions. So if the beekeepers want to know how far apart they should put their beehives so they're not robbing honey from each other and so forth, or other, other questions such as that. So we're going to query our beehive data so we see what's going on with our beehives. So as I said, we've got our two in TVP and our one in Tel Aviv. What one would you like to check up on? Sorry? What beehive would you like to check up on? TVP? Sure. Yeah? So let's have a look here. So we get some metrics fed back to us. We can see the current weight of the hive, the average temperature, and so on and so forth. So that's quick and easy to do. And then we've got our Alexa here as an interface to interact with a chatbot. James? Okay. Yeah. Do you want to switch? Yes. Here we go. Yeah, Alexa, we don't Yeah, I don't think for the Alexa we would need the full screen. No, no, can you plug it in? I'll follow on anyway. So following on from what Jeremy just described with the VBCS app, we basically the digital assistant, the chatbot, is we wanted another interface, way of communication is through a smart speaker. So we've used Alexa to communicate with um, the VBCS chatbot so that as a beekeeper, the idea would be that when you're recording and monitoring your bees, you wouldn't have to um, take your gloves off or you don't have to start using the pen and paper as they traditionally would do. Um, so for example, a beekeeper can go over to the have a little microphone in their bee suit and just say, Alexa, can I record the varroa treatment of my hives? I know not many people in here might be bee experts, but neither was I until three months ago, so I've learned so many facts about bees. So it's kind of eliminating that, that process of having to write down. But also it's more for if beginner, because it's becoming quite of a trend in the culture for people to actually have their own beehives in the homes. So it's kind of for beginners. So if beginners don't know where to start, there's a, good, there's a good starting point where they, you can just ask uh, the digital assistant and um, get the, the answers back to that. So if I give a little example of um, Alexa, me and Alexa usually have a language barrier, but we can try and get through this. Alexa, ask Beekeeper. Oh, that's the Alexa, ask Beekeeper. I want to record my virology. Right. Apologies. Alexa, ask Beekeeper, I want to record my Varroa treatment. Okay. Apologies about that. Everyone. No, that's okay. Disconnected so, from the actual. Sure. 
Oh yeah, yes. the platform on the screen. Yeah, so this is uh, Oracle's digital assistant platform. This is where we where I developed the actual intents and entities for the digital assistant to respond. So what we've got here is we've got intents. Yeah, so we've got intents here which are going to trigger the bot to respond in a certain way. So with the intents, we've created lists and uh, variables to actually input. So for instance, if I say I want to record the varroa treatment, it's going to prompt me with a list and say, okay, what type of treatment was it? So then when I select the treatment, it's going to store that as a variable, which can then be added into the database. So the idea of that is when the, the beekeeper records his treatment, later on in the day or then maybe the next day, has forgotten what he's recorded or she and says, Alexa, can I view the record from yesterday? Or ask a question, maybe use machine learning to sort of, when's my next treatment due? Based on your hives and the information gathered, the treatment is uh, due next two days. So yeah, so that's kind of the idea of that. Also, sorry, just going back to the uh, bot and the VBTS app, it's got built-in image recognition. So the idea of the bee mark is though that you can take an image of a biodiverse farm or a monoagriculture farm, and based on the crops, the image will respond with the type of farm it is. And obviously, this is all for the authentication of the type of honey. As I, I'm not, I'm no agricultural expert, but I'm guessing that certain chemicals in different farms can help with better, better honey sources. Um, so we've used that with uh, by creating using TensorFlow open source. Um, and we've created our model as which the digital assistant can connect to that component and respond with the percentage and the store the images as well. Yeah, yeah so maybe a couple of more words about that, that technology. So um, it uses uh, NLP, natural language processing. So we train it with um, some utterances or example statements and and then we train those uh, specific intents and for each intent we have a powerful state machine behind the scene that can invoke uh, external services like the image recognition that James just um, mentioned. So it's quite open, we can run even TensorFlow and run the incoming attachment through that engine, get back the results and then the bot will carry on from there on onwards. Um, as well as triggering our you know, SaaS application in some cases or human interaction if needed. So that's quite, uh, quite a powerful uh, platform we're using over here. Wonderful, it's really a great example of uh, integrated technology from end to end, right? Okay. To, uh, yeah. to really solve um, a problem. So, well, th thank you so much for taking the time and, and showing us this demo. It's very inspiring so and Good use of the technology. Thank you. Thank you.